Hello everybody, I wanted to talk today about this, um, how can we describe it, a uh, contradiction in a sense um, between keeping everybody like at arm's length and um, but actually underneath all of that desperately seeking that um, connection with other people and needing that love and affection and all of those good things that we need to have in our lives. And um, this seems really topical for me at the moment, so I thought that um, it's good time, good a time as any. So, um, so why why is it that we keep people at arm's length? Well, for me, as the daughter of an alcoholic, um, somebody that's kind of lived in an environment where love and affection was um, in um, low supply, I think is probably the. Um, best way to describe it so it wasn't available all the time certainly not from my dad and I feel like I I was desperately craving that attention and that love and um, just that kind of wanting you know to feel needed and just receiving the normal you know affection that you should receive from your parent um, and I, I guess I never really had that from him my mum did show me some affection and love and care, um, maybe not always in a way that I would have liked. I think that that developed in me then becoming more attention seeking as I grew up um, because I lacked that attention from the people that I believed should be giving me that attention. I then craved it in other ways and sometimes I would create situations just to get attention whether it was good or bad and we know that we do that. Um, we create situations just because we're so desperate for some sort of attention. Um, ideally we want the good attention but any attention will will do is better than none. And so I guess for me the... Um, the lack of connection with my parents, which happened for lots of different reasons and will be, you know, different for you, meant that over time, when I, because I wasn't getting what I needed, I sought it out in different ways. And so when I got older, I started um, having one night stands with people I didn't know. And, you know, in... In a weird way, it did give me that comfort. And I think comfort's a really important word. Somebody used it in a post recently, and I thought, you know what, that actually really describes what I f think I needed right then. I just wanted some comfort and, you know, to be held. And But at the same time, I was pushing people away. And... This probably happened more as an adult than it do, did as a, when I was a child. So I don't know if you relate to that in that, you know, you, you kind of wanted the affection and attention as, as a child. And then as you've kind of grown up in your life now, you're struggling to receive that attention that you actually really wanted as a child because you're not used to it. And because you haven't had it, maybe you don't know how to deal with it. And also for me, I became quite suspicious of people, very suspicious of their agenda, what they wanted from me, you know, um, if they had my good intentions at heart, if they were interested in me or if they wanted something. And so I then, and also there's this fear, as hopefully you can all relate to, that um, they're going to hurt me, you know. And if I let people any, any closer to me... Um, you know, that's a risk. But actually deep inside, I absolutely crave that love and affection that I've, you know, been without for so long. So it's this, it's a contradiction, isn't it? You know, we want it, we don't want it, or we want it, but we show we don't want it. Um, and so for me, it's really about starting to look at those reasons that we're pushing back and for me, it's usually around fear. It's usually around safety, not feeling safe with somebody, again, not knowing their intentions, what they want from me. So hopefully that's given you food for thought. Everyone's situation is different, as you know. Um, and so there might be different reasons why you don't let people in. Ultimately, all it does is keep you isolated and disconnected. So um, 
the more we can start to look at why that is and put ways in place for us to start to feel safe and then hopefully we'll be more likely to embrace things slowly but surely uh, you know don't expect a dramatic change in your behavior because it's not going to happen but slowly but surely over time when you start to open up to some people and then you do it a little bit more and so on it will grow but sometimes we need to have some one-to-one -one help we need to work through some of the reasons why we're fearful and we feel unsafe and all of that good stuff if you need that kind of support then obviously you can get in touch with me and i can help you with that and we can um, work together so that it's no longer limiting your life and you start to get the connection that you need and i have no doubt in saying deserve so take care of yourselves and i will speak to you soon